Hello, it's Aga from Arvis Artist. Today I have a special video for you, Q&A. I've chosen the most frequently asked questions I received from you guys. This is the first video like this, so let me know in the comments if you would like to see more videos like this in the future. Okay, so let's begin with the first question. What is the secret behind realistic and high quality renders? Design skills, good PC, color management, more time. What do you actually need? Okay, so a lot of artists think that technical skills, hardware and software are the most important. However, I don't agree with this statement. Of course, they are important. They can help you, for example, in speeding up the workflow. However, without the artistic base, like mm, knowledge about composition, understanding colors, educated eye, your images won't be great anyway. So they will lack of soul, this extra touch. I would say that the secret behind fabulous image is to combine technical skills with the artistic approach. Do you use IES lights? Most of the time, I use disc lights and I control directionality. However, if I need something specific, some specific shape, then I will use IES lights. Do you model some complicated assets, for instance, furniture? I used to model in the past, but now I don't really have too much time on it. I mainly focus on creating images. So I would rather buy model online um, unless it's not available. Then I will model it by myself or I will ask somebody else to model it. What to use for plant modeling like ivy, trees? I think that the great tool to create planting of any kind is a GrowFX. I've already posted the video where I show you how to model the plant with the use of this software. So if you want to check this out, I put the link in the corner. Okay, next question. How to manage big scene files? Okay, so first of all, you need to keep your files organized and clean. Uh, you can use proxies to make your viewport smoother. What else? Um, you can use Xrefs, it's a really great way. Uh, and optimize your scene file by using smaller textures and low poly models in the background. So in the places where it's not so visible. How does proxy work and how can it be helpful for complex scenes? Proxy doesn't improve your render time or quality of the model. As I said in the previous question, it helps to keep the viewport smooth. So because proxy is stored outside the main file, scene file is getting smaller when you use it. So if you have um, high uh, poly models and you multiply them over the scene, I would recommend to use proxy. Uh, when to use HDRI and when to use standard sky. Uh, it all depends what effect do you want to achieve. So most of the time I use standard sky unless I want to get some specific effect, like for example, um, dramatic sunset uh, sky with clouds, or I won't have this in the reflections. How do you texture big surfaces without repetition? Uh, in general, I always look for seamless and high quality textures. However, if I cannot find one, I try to randomize it in Photoshop or with uh, these maps that can randomize in Corona or V-Ray. I am a beginner, never used 3ds Max. What should I do? Basically, there are two ways of doing that. First, you can learn by yourself. This is uh, probably the cheapest option, uh, however, it's long and you can be overhand pretty easily. And another one is to find a good teacher. This will be more expensive, but probably the process will be smoother and faster. 
Anyway, no matter which way you choose, you need to practice because the best teacher, the best course won't help you if you don't practice by yourself. And maybe even the most important, don't give up and try until you're happy with the results. But here, be honest with yourself. What to do to get the jobs or clients? I think the most important part is a strong portfolio. The images must speak by themselves. So spend time on collecting the best outstanding images of yours. This is crucial. Then you can of course send some emails uh, for collaboration for clients or for other companies. But I would build the personal brand first. Post images on social media. Instagram and Behance will be a great uh, place for this. You can try Facebook as well. And then do the same on LinkedIn and try to connect with people from industry. Is Corona still better than Vera's latest version? <laughs> I think this is the most, most, most frequently asked questions I've received. <laughs> So, the latest version of V-Ray is great, especially with the light mix option. Uh, however, I still prefer Corona. It's because I love this user-friendly interface. Uh, I love that I don't have to change too much settings. And I simply feel that my output from this render is more realistic and simply better. Uh, I definitely see the potential of V-Ray, so I will use it more often than in the past. But it's really personal choice, uh, and it depends for what kind of jobs do you need it for. So if you want to see my comparison on these two renderers, I put the link in the corner so you can watch it if you want. It's hard for me to work with an image for a long time. At this stage, when the render is almost ready, it's difficult for me to understand what exactly the picture is missing. Maybe you could give me some tips on what to pay attention to, because the render doesn't look bad, but it's not perfect as I would like it to be. Okay, so um, I always try to work with references for lighting, styling, etc. It's just easier to compare later my work with these references and find what is missing. Another tip can be asking somebody else for help. Even if this person is not from the field, he or she can give you great uh, suggestions and you will find what is missing. If I'm working uh, on the project for a long time and I feel that something is not right, uh, I try to do a break, 15-20 minutes of walk, and then I go back and look at this with a fresh eye. It typically helps. Do I need all of the plugins like Marvel's designer thanks FD? I think it depends on the project and what do you do. So I think you still can do great without these plugins and you can for instance use uh, paid models instead. However, if you uh, work on the project where custom modeling is involved and it will matter a lot, you can always uh, purchase these plugins uh, if it will be profitable for you and worth it. How can I get an artistic eye and improve work? There is no magic. It is all about practice, learning about an artistic approach and looking for great references in the real world and photography and then try to recreate it in the 3D software. Okay, I think it was the last question. So I would like to wish you a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays and all the best for you and your families. Bye bye!